The topic is spirituality and true freedom. And we're talking to Dr. Cupid Poe. Uh, Dr. Poe, uh, before we had our first commercial break, we promised that we would give you an opportunity to talk about uh, true freedom. And of course, you've given us some information in reference to what uh, true freedom is not. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, talk about uh, what, what true freedom might be uh, Amen. In, in, from, from your perspective. Okay. Um, it's interesting and, and rather surprising uh, in the minds of, uh, I think, many people that uh, true freedom has a number of synonyms that mm -hmm. people are familiar with. One, true freedom is a synonym for true happiness. Mm -hmm. True freedom is a synonym for true fulfillment. Mm -hmm. uh, true freedom is a synonym for the victorious life. Mm -hmm. True freedom is a synonym for the abundant life. Mm -hmm. uh, true freedom is a synonym for for ongoing peace, mm -hmm. ongoing joy. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the truth of the matter is that I believe God works in each person that he creates, mm -hmm. or that he has created, and moves us from selfishness mm -hmm. or self-centeredness mm -hmm. to true, true freedom. freedom. Mm -hmm. And when we arrive at true freedom, and I believe it's a gift, mm -hmm. okay, which is a byproduct of, pro byproduct of God's grace, his mm -hmm. mercy, his, his love, uh, related to our obedience, when we mm -hmm. get there, mm -hmm. then we discover that we have received true happiness, mm -hmm. true fulfillment, mm -hmm. true joy, true peace, and the abundant life. And it really doesn't matter what our economic status is when we arrive there, and we're always moving toward that if we are in search of this true freedom. Is, would that be a uh, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is not an economic uh, matter. Mm -hmm. It is not an educational uh, matter. Mm -hmm. It is not an appearance matter, a physical appearance matter. Mm -hmm. It's not a status matter, mm -hmm. uh, but rather it's a spiritual phenomenon. Mm -hmm. True freedom is a spiritual phenomenon. And I'm convinced that God created us mm -hmm. for true freedom. Mm -hmm. He created us to seek it and to find it mm -hmm. and to receive it. Mm -hmm. But he's the only source of it. Mm -hmm. It cannot come from wealth, mm -hmm. monetary wealth. It, can, it does not mm -hmm. come from education, as we just said, mm -hmm. or status. Because if it came from wealth, then the rich would be truly true, free, free. Okay. and the poor would, would be in bondage. Okay, very good. And All we right? know that's not true yeah. in, in, in any respect. Okay, very good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the, the real slavery is, is selfishness. Mm -hmm. Real slavery is a byproduct of selfishness. Mm -hmm. and of course, we know that there's physical slavery, mm -hmm. okay? But spiritual slavery is essentially a byproduct of one's own selfishness. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, too many people uh, are driven by the desire to please themselves. Okay, mm -hmm. that's where that's, you talk about selfishness. Yes, that's that's selfishness and mm -hmm. that's self-centeredness. Mm -hmm. If I'm driven uh, daily, if my purpose in life is to please me, mm -hmm. to advance me, to do for me, mm -hmm. to satisfy me, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. that's a me-centered perspective. That's mm -hmm. a me-centered mm -hmm. or a self-centered Centered. life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Very good. We've discovered that. People who are giving, people who are altruistic, mm -hmm. people who do for others mm -hmm. are healthier physically, psychologically, socially, and spiritually, mm -hmm. okay? God has created us such that you cannot be selfish and happy at the same, same. time. Okay, very that is good. truly mm -hmm. happy now, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. You cannot be selfish and know mm -hmm. true freedom, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, true freedom is the other side of of selfishness. Mm -hmm. Selfishness is the other side of true freedom. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you can move out of, uh, of selfishness by moving toward true freedom. Yes. But if you continue to remain in selfishness, you will never be able to achieve what you're now describing as true freedom. And that is, in a real sense, pleasing God. Absolutely. Because God is not, uh, uh, is not pleased with our self-centeredness and our selfishness. Is that? Absolutely. What pleases God, I'm glad you raised that question or made that comment, what pleases God is our unselfishness. Mm -hmm. It is our giving to others. It's our helping others. It's our saying no to ourselves in order, uh, in order to say yes to, to, to what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. The example, Mother Teresa, okay. very self-giving. Mm -hmm. Mahatma Gandhi, very self-giving. Mm -hmm. Dr. Martin Luther King, very self-giving. Mm -hmm. Sojourner Truth, very self-giving. Mm -hmm. All right? A good, caring mother mm -hmm. is very self-giving. Mm -hmm. A good, uh, caring father is very self-giving. Mm -hmm. Life is about God, and God is about giving. Mm -hmm. And any time that you put yourself, I mean, put others in front of yourself, 
that's self-giving. That that's self-giving. Mm -hmm. Whenever you can, and whenever you try to relieve the pain, the stress, the discomfort mm -hmm. of another person, mm -hmm. whenever you're willing to 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 say no to what you want in order to say yes to helping someone else satisfy their needs, mm -hmm. then you are self-giving. Then. Mm -hmm you are worshiping God. Because mm -hmm. worship really is caring for other people. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine now, here's someone who's in a city away from home. They've got a good job, living in a nice home. The mother gets sick, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. And so there's a conflict between should I stay and hire somebody to take care of her, mm -hmm. or should I return home mm -hmm. and give her the kind mm -hmm. of care that thing she needs, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, Self-giving uh, uh, would be to, 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 to return home, mm -hmm. okay, perhaps at a loss of income, mm -hmm. loss of status, mm -hmm. and to minister to, to the needs of that mother. Dr. Poe, I think you just described a situation that, uh, that has happened recently in my own family. Yes. My mother uh, went to the hospital, and uh, both my sisters uh, came from uh, California and from Memphis, from Indiana and from Memphis, and they came at their own expense and at the expense of leaving their jobs and et cetera, et cetera, so that they could be there in order to administer to her at that period. And, and so you're saying that uh, to do that is to simply forget self. And that's, of course, yes. that's what they've done. I mean, yes. they've uh, simply dropped everything uh, at, in their own places, their husbands, the whole thing, and they've come to mother. Is that, is, is that the kind of attitude? Yes, that that's the kind of uh, giving, the kind of attitude, the kind of caring that delights or brings joy to the heart of God. Mm -hmm. And whenever we please God, mm -hmm. He pleases us mm -hmm. in ways that we can't begin to, mm -hmm. to, to imagine. Mm -hmm. And so what we're saying is, true freedom is a byproduct of those kinds of decisions. Mm -hmm. True freedom is a byproduct mm -hmm. of, of caring for others. It's a mm -hmm. byproduct of putting oneself second and putting others first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the source of true freedom. Mm -hmm. True freedom comes as a result of that mm -hmm. kind of focus. And there's also, the, would you say that there's also something uh, mentally and emotionally that you feel once you uh, make that, those kinds of commitments? Is that true? Absolutely. We can see it in a very simple act. When I do something that helps you or helps someone else, I feel mm -hmm. within my spirit mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's, I mean, that, I think right. a lot of people experience that without understanding exactly why a they so fit. And of course, Dr. Paul, let us stop okay. this commercial break. Okay. And we'll pick up and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Dr. Cupid Poe, 